Hello, dear students. Welcome to online English school. Today, we will continue talking about sport. We will practice new words and we will also do some exercises. Let's revise the previous lesson. Do you remember the words? Question number one. What type of sport involves shooting arrows? Question number two. Who is in charge of controlling the game? Question number three. What do you wear to protect your head when riding a bike? Archery is a type of sport that involves shooting arrows. Referee is in charge of controlling the game. You wear a crash helmet when you ride a bike. Exercise number one. Choose the correct option. The team lost the match in extra time. The team lost the match in extra time. My greatest sport achievement was winning a darts tournament in a local pub. My greatest sport achievement was winning a darts tournament in a local pub. The final of the World Cup was between France and Italy. The final of the World Cup was between France and Italy. At half time, the coach went to talk to his players. At half time, the coach went to talk to his players. How often is the Olympics held? How often is the Olympics held? Well done. Let's go to the next activity. Exercise number two. Choose the correct option. Where is the fitness club where Margaret goes to do aerobics? Where is the fitness club where Margaret goes to do aerobics? They want to buy the land near my house to set up a golf course. They want to buy the land near my house to set up a golf course. Professional jockeys tend to be small, so the horse doesn't have to carry too much weight. Professional jockeys tend to be small, so the horse doesn't have to carry too much weight. The player fell over and dropped his hockey stick on the ice. The player fell over and dropped his hockey stick on the ice. Beckham kicked the ball straight at the goalkeeper. Beckham kicked the ball straight at the goalkeeper. Well done. Exercise number three. Choose the correct option. When the final whistle was heard, all the spectators in the stadium started to cheer. When the final whistle was heard, all the spectators in the stadium started to cheer. The linesman raised his flag because the football had been kicked off the pitch. The linesman raised his flag because the football had been kicked off the pitch. The goalkeeper is the only footballer who can touch the ball with his hands. The goalkeeper is the only footballer who can touch the ball with his hands. You need to be an experienced mountaineer to climb to the peak. You need to be an experienced mountaineer to climb to the peak. The referee blew his whistle to end the football match. The referee blew his whistle to end the football match. To do the next exercise, we need to learn these words. Please repeat after me. Hang gliding. Javelin. Slope. Tie break. 
pole vault, paddle. Hang gliding is the activity of flying through the air by hanging from a very small aircraft. Javelin is a long stick with a pointed end and it is thrown in sports competitions. Slope is the side of a hill or a mountain. Tie break is an extra play at the end of a game when both teams have the same points. Pole vault is a sports competition in which you jump over a high bar using a long stick to push yourself off the ground. And the last word is paddle, a short pole with a wide flat part at one end or both ends. It is used for moving a small boat through the water. Are you ready for the next exercise? Mark the sports. We need to find type of sport in each line. Cycle, cyclist, archer or archery. Boxing glove, hang gliding, mountaineer or quarterfinal. Javelin, final, deuce or goalkeeper. Slope, tie break, pole vault, half time. Jockey, paddle, referee, squash. Well done. There are additional words that we need to discuss before proceeding to the next exercise. Track suit, trunk, whistle. Kneel, paragliding, racket. Track suit is a loose top and trousers worn by people who are training or exercising. Trunk is a piece of men's clothing that is worn for swimming. Whistle is an object that we use to make a loud high sound. Nil means nothing or zero. Paragliding is the type of sport of jumping out of an aircraft with a special parachute. Racket is an object used for hitting the ball in sports. True or false? We need to find if these sentences are true or false. A match is divided into sets in tennis or volleyball. A match is divided into sets in tennis or volleyball. In tennis and volleyball, match is divided into sets. A tracksuit is a good place to practice your running. A tracksuit is a good place to practice your running. A tracksuit is not a place. A lot of male swimmers wear trunks. A lot of male swimmers wear trunks. The referee can blow his whistle only once during the match. The referee can blow his whistle only once during the match. The referee can blow his whistle more than once. This is the last activity for today. Choose the correct option. I hope Manchester United are league champions next season. I hope Manchester United are league champions next season. We were able to paddle the canoe along the river for six hours without a break. We were able to paddle the canoe along the river for six hours without a break. Ian said they'd won three nil. Ian said they'd won three nil. You need a special kind of parachute to go paragliding. You need a special kind of parachute to go paragliding. Try to hit the ball with the racket hard enough to make it go over the net. Try to hit the ball with the racket hard enough to make it go over the net. This is the end of lesson number two. Thank you for your attention. See you next lesson. Bye bye. Thank you.